Welcome. Welcome to day one of, I guess what I'm calling, our 2020 road trip. We originally were going to go somewhere else during this time. We were going to fly to see some friends, but unfortunately because of COVID, we aren't flying anywhere. And so we decided that because we have the time off that we're just gonna go make a little road trip and go do a few things, spend a lot of time outdoors. Our first day did most of the driving. We drove five plus hours up to Utah and we are currently staying at Lone Rock Campground, which is a primitive campground. On the way here, we passed by Horseshoe Bend, which was absolutely amazing. If you have seen pictures of it, you know it just looks cool, but if you haven't seen it in person, you need to, because it is one of the most breathtaking things I've seen. But it was a great way to start off the adventure. Stopping and seeing that first was, was pretty awesome. For the next couple of days, it's gonna kinda be up in the air a little bit. The plan for tomorrow is pretty set in stone. We are going to be driving up to Bryce Canyon National Park, spending all day there basically, and then camping around there for the evening. Depending if we can get a shuttle pass for Zion National Park will determine when we actually go there. So because of COVID, they are limiting passengers on their shuttles, and so you have to reserve uh, shuttle tickets in advance. Um, you could have either reserved them like two weeks ago, which unfortunately didn't realize that you could do it that way, or you can reserve them the day before. So basically tomorrow morning and Sunday morning, I'm going to be trying to get uh, shuttle tickets for Zion. Ideally, I would like to spend two days in Zion, but we'll just have to kind of see. The good thing is, if for some reason Zion doesn't work out, there are lots of really cool places around Zion that we can go visit as well. All will not be lost if we don't get it, make it to Zion. We don't live incredibly far away, so we could always come back at another time. But that's the plan for the road trip. We're planning on camping basically the entire time. We're camping right now, and then tomorrow we're gonna camp near Bryce, and then the day after we're gonna camp on some BLM land near Zion. So the goal is to camp the entire time. We also are using the annual park pass to its fullest extent this trip, because to get to this campground, you do have to pay a national park fee, and our National Park Pass covered that. I think it's $30, covered that. It will cover the Bryce fee as well as the Zion fee. So it's gonna be used quite a bit during this trip. Currently, we're just kinda sitting out on the beach. This is our first time camping on the beach, which is kinda crazy. Feet in the sand. The only downside about the campground is it's a little packed, but the good news is everyone tends to go a little bit closer to the beach and stay over there. And I'm kind of like, I want to be where the toilets are. <laughs> so we're a little bit closer to the bathrooms and a little bit further away from the beach, which is totally fine. We found a pretty, pretty nice secluded spot though. That's about it for day one, I think. Look at that beautiful sunset. It's getting dark and I'm about to make myself a sandwich. Justin's gonna have some leftover pizza that we had for lunch. But aside from that, not really much else happening tonight. And so the plan is tomorrow we're gonna get up pretty early and head up to Bryce. And that's our next, our next big thing. So for now, uh, good night and we will see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to day two of our road trip. We are currently headed up to Bryce National Park. We got up super early this morning. It was still dark outside. We've been driving for about an hour and a half and we only have about an hour until we actually get to Bryce. Like we mentioned yesterday, our plan is to basically spend all day there and then stay up there as well. So decided to get an early start to the day so we can get there like as soon as they're open and get all of our hikes in. So it should be pretty exciting, but we only have an hour until we get there, so I'm excited. You're excited? I'm excited. He's excited too. Basically got up in this morning and just packed up, loosely packed up, and then got gas and got coffee. And that's basically how we've started our, our morning this morning, and it's been, been pretty great. First real day of full-on action. This is where the, the fun begins.
we've made it into the park and a little bit of an update. Our goal for getting into the park was to check out one of the first come first serve campgrounds within the park to see if there's availability. If they have availability, we just stay in the campground and then that way we can park there and we can take the shuttle all day. We can stay in the park at sunset and it'll be great. Luckily, we were able to find a spot right away as soon as we entered. So we're on our way to pay for that now. The next step is it is approximately 8.50 in 10 minutes. I need to be online to see if I can reserve tickets for the Zion shuttle. I don't remember if I mentioned this yesterday, but I think I did that Zion is requiring reservations for shuttle space. We have to be online at nine o'clock to reserve these tickets. Now that we have our campsite and we're about to go pay, we should have enough time to pay real quick. I believe I have service and then get those tickets real quick. And then after that ticket session's done, we can kind of relax and get the day going. Go to the visitor center, get my passport stamp, start our hiking adventure and it's, it's gonna be great. So these next few minutes are gonna be crucial, but super, super excited. Especially that we kept, got the campground. Another thing I wanted to call out, it, it is kind of chilly here. Um, it is currently 45 degrees out. It's supposed to, only, at Bryce, is only supposed to get up to like mid 70s. So it's gonna be a beautiful day for hiking and things. But we might have to, you know, bring our sweatshirts for the first little bit of the day, but by the end of the day, it'll be nice and nice and comfortable. But tonight it might get down into the 30s. So we do have cold weather gear and we may actually sleep with the vehicle door shut because of how cold it's gonna be. We'll have to see how that plays out, but so far things are looking really, really good. Okay, dropped off our payment for the campsite. As soon as it hit nine o'clock, went to go find our reservations to get those shuttle tickets. We were able to get two shuttle tickets for the 11 to noon time slot, which is perfectly fine. Like, I think we were originally going a little bit earlier, but the fact that we were able to get shuttle tickets at all is perfectly fine for us. We are still gonna try and go for Zion again on Monday and shoot for an earlier time. Monday may not be as busy because people are like, you know, work days and may not be that bad. So glad we have shuttle tickets to Zion. Gives us plenty of time to get there. It's about an hour and a half from Bryce. And so now we're camping back at our campsite. Everything, shuttle, visitor centers within walking distance from our campsite. So we're just gonna be parked here all day, spending all day at Bryce. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. We get to see the hoodoos. I'll explain what the hoodoos are during the park stuff. I'm so amped right now. Before we get going for our Bryce day, I actually wanted to share a couple of new pieces of gear that I got. One of them I'm gonna be actively using today. The other is um, probably more so when we do the Narrows as Zion. This first is just a Gregory 16 liter backpack, a really nice easy dig pack. Bought a three liter bladder to go in it as well. So we'll have plenty of water. It also has these um, snack holders on the waistband because I gotta have you know access to snacks. Little pocket here, um, little kangaroo pouch here. Lovely color, amazing, love it. So this is essentially gonna be my new day pack for little day hikes and stuff, it'll be great. The other piece of gear that I got is I got these Chacos. I've been wearing them for the past couple days, like these were really great for like everyday use, but yesterday we did the horseshoe bend, which was only 0.6 miles um, with a little bit of uphill and downhill. And the sand got in them and caused some pretty gnarly blisters on my feet already. So I think these just need to be broken in a little bit more, but these will be great for the narrows when we go to Zion because the Narrows is a basically a water hike and these will dry really fast. I just hope they don't cause any more blisters, but the good news is we have gear to handle blisters if, if it's a problem. Those are the new pieces of gear that I got. Super excited to try out this backpack. The next steps are um, packing up some cold weather gear in case we happen to be out and about until you know the sun starts to go down. Gonna pack up water and snacks and then we will be on our way.
One thing that's really cool is that if you look at the hoodoos and just the scenery in general, you can see all the different stages of erosion. Like you can see the, the wall, you have spots where there's a bunch of windows, you can see the spires obviously where they've collapsed down, and then also where the spires have collapsed, there's these like little mountains too, and you can see that throughout as well. So it feels like it's constantly going through that erosion process and constantly just forming stuff. So this trail that we're currently doing is the Peekaboo Loop Trail. It, it's about, I think they said it was 5.5 miles and we are already in the loop part um, and we are down in the canyon. So going back up is gonna be uh, a little rough, but not as bad as Grand Canyon, we don't think, but we got all day, we can make it. <laughs> but um, seeing the canyon floor with everything around is a, definitely a different perspective, just as cool. The elevation change for this hike, I believe, is about 1,500 feet. Um, so quite a bit of change, but I think we will be just fine. three o'clock and we've returned back to camp. We are pretty tired. According to my Fitbit, we've walked and hiked a little over 10 miles today. The main hike being the 5.5, but overall we've been hiking a lot. So it's been, it's been a long day, like getting up really early, getting here, um, the excitement of like <laughs> getting tickets to Zion and then just being super chill like with the hikes and stuff and now we are toast. Probably just gonna chill here for the rest of the night, but we are pretty close to the rim of Bryce Canyon. And so we might, when sun, the sun starts to set, like we might go out there just to watch the sunset. Don't know exactly what time we're leaving tomorrow yet, but we wanna make sure we get to Zion early. Like we do have a shuttle for the, I believe 11 noon slot, I think, or one of those slots. But the thing is you also have to navigate parking and that's gonna be the next challenge. So we will see what that looks like. For dinner, we're making something incredibly simple. I'm just having some pasta. We're gonna add in some tomato paste to make it tomato base, and then salt and pepper. And it should be pretty good. This is gonna boil over. Okay. But super, super simple. We did this last time we went camping, um, and it worked out really, really well. So we decided to do it again.
We just wrapped up dinner for the evening. The last little thing is since we're really close to the room, we're gonna go for a little sunset walk thing tomorrow. Big day tomorrow, it's gonna be Zion. This will likely bleed into the next video. Um, so this video isn't too, too long. Be on the lookout for, I guess, part two or day three of our road trip hike. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next adventure and hopefully the continuation of this adventure. <laughs>